Hi there, welcome to my channel. As I get the plastic off of this item, what I have here is the Last of Us Part 2 collector's box by a company called Culturefly. So they tend to do many pop culture themed collector's boxes ranging from Ghostbusters merchandise to My Hero Academia to even Zelda. So I got this from GameStop for $39.99. But right from the start, I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with this specific box and Culturefly. I ordered this box on June 3rd, 2020, a couple of weeks before the actual game came out. And this box was supposed to be released shortly after the game, so near the end of June. But as the weeks went on, this thing just kept getting delayed until it was pushed to mid-July and then the end of July until it finally got an expected ship date of August 3rd. And that's when it ultimately shipped and I received it today on August 6th. So right from the start, it was really bumpy. And to make things worse, The Last of Us Part 2 disappointed many diehard fans. And I was in that boat for a while until I finished that game. And, you know, I mean, the gameplay improved. Obviously, the visuals improved. And not to give anything away, the story was mediocre at best but overall i enjoyed it playing a single player story driven game in 2020 is kind of rare so it felt nice playing a game that was a solo adventure anyway i'll just keep it at that to not spoil anything for people who still want to play the game but back to the box so the actual box that houses everything is pretty nice. The only thing I can kind of gripe about is it's just an overly used image of Ellie. Pretty much all of The Last of Us 2 merchandise has that image of Ellie somewhere on it. But overall, I guess it's better than just having a plain black box that says The Last of Us on it. So nice little touch there. But the first thing that I'm going to pull out of the box is kind of a staple for these boxes that come from third parties. And it's a pair of tube socks. Fortunately for me, I need some new socks. So this is going to go in my list of positives. <laughs> Because, man, your boy has some holy socks. I guess they've been going to church. They got the holy spirit in every single toe. But these are a very nice pair of socks. I like the color. It matches the dark grittiness of the game. And I enjoy that they put that moth image from the game on there. I believe it's actually a part of Ellie's tattoo. So very nice touches. Overall, the socks aren't too thin nor too thick. It feels a lot like the character or novelty socks you get from Target. Or any store that basically has a pop culture section where you just, you know, get random TV, video game, merchandise. And moving on, we have two wooden coasters, and they have a strong wood smell. Very, very strong. Kind of feels like, or smells like in this case, when you walk through that lumber area at Home Depot or Lowe's and you just get a big whiff and you just smell all those two by fours anyway <laughs> i really like these coasters they have some blueprints or schematics on them they detail two items a hammer and ellie's trusty switchblade really cool graphics and on the back of course a bunch of copyright stuff culture fly last of us made in china up next is a little notebook and i can also see ellie's guitar popping out on the front of it through the little label and feeling it through the plastic it actually feels like it's made out of some synthetic leather like material and it's kind of cushiony so it has a nice little feel to it but you can tell it's not real leather so i'm gonna try my best to preserve all of the packaging because when i don't use certain items i just display them as is so i'm gonna try to get this label and not rip it off in half it's actually on there pretty snug but there you go got it off and there's ellie's guitar and more copyright stuff on the back but looking through the book there's ellie's tattoo so nice little details within every page and i'm excited to see what the inside looks like Oh wow, so the left hand side is actually blank sheet music. So if you know how to write music, you have a nice little pocket sized notebook where you can take notes on the right and write music on the left. I dabble in writing music here and there, but I'm not the best at it. But this is a nice cool little added feature that I didn't even know would be <laughs> within the set. So that's really nice to see. And here's something that I was super excited about. I love pins and you get two metal pins of Ellie, one of her holding her gun and another of her playing the guitar. So I really like the art style of these pins it has a cool graphic novel look and feel and detail to it and here's the back more copyright and disclaimer stuff and we're going to move on to one of the bigger items in this box and just like tube socks another staple of these third party collectors boxes is to always include some sort of drinkware like tumblers or in this case a pint glass so we have an ellie themed pint glass and the packaging as surprising as it is is that overly used image of ellie and if you want a better look at that overly used image here it is in kind of color kind of a sepia tone with a green foresty background <laughs> so that's the infamous ellie image used on all of the last of us 2 merchandise but 
but it's actually a pretty cool looking glass it's made out of glass but oh looking into the cup itself i can see one flaw that i already dislike you can see where the paper is kind of wrapped around so it's a paper within a glass and they could have made that look cleaner at least not have that black line go down the middle they could have lined it up properly to kind of trick us loving the effort culture fly loving the effort so far this box is pretty decent so i'm gonna give you guys that but man i don't know if it was worth that almost two month delay but we're gonna move on to the main event of this box because if you look this up on gamestop you know that this box came with a duffel bag so let's see the quality of the duffel bag how big it is and here it is it's nice and folded so you can get it nice and compact if you don't actually want to use it so i'm going to switch to my wide angle lens just to get the whole entire duffel bag in here as i kind of clean up this desk because i don't know if i have that much space looking at the images of this duffel bag on gamestop this bag doesn't look too small it's definitely medium size perfect for day use or to store a change of clothes after going to the gym but material wise it kind of feels like a windbreaker smells like a tarp and it's not too thin it feels durable enough for daily use but only time will be able to tell and in the current state of our country even more so my state of california i won't be going anywhere anytime soon so for now i'll probably store my recording stuff in there my cameras microphones and cables it's a good size for my setup but i'm gonna stuff a 15 inch goomba plush into here it's the first thing that i saw <laughs> but i'm gonna do it just to show it off and see what it looks like semi filled up but it's nice to know that i can store a 15 inch goomba and look the bottom's actually maroon so it's actually two-toned so blue on the top maroon on the bottom i like it actually one of my favorite color schemes Games. and I love this pocket on the side where the actual Last of Us logo is with the image of Ellie. That pocket is humongous, so you can store some more stuff in there. And as you saw me open the bag earlier, there's actually a nice little nook for that area. So you can store all of your toiletries if you're going on a daycation or if you're going to the gym, whatever it is. But there it is, it's that black flap that you see inside. And here is a little label. And you know, the inside's actually pretty roomy. You can actually put maybe two or three changes of clothes in there. So let me stuff the Goomba back in there after showing it off. And we're actually gonna change angles and see what it looks like from a level perspective, not just overhead or over the top. So here's the actual picture of Ellie on the side of it. It feels like a cheap plastic print, you know, so you can feel the difference between the bag and the print itself. But I like how it's white, so it pops a bit more in comparison to it being black or a darker color. So I just passed through a side pocket right there, so you could probably stick your phone in there or something small. And even though the video is sped up, you can still hear how loud this bag is. It's kind of like wearing windbreaker pants and you just have your legs swooshing over and over again. So keep that in mind too. If you end up getting this and wanting this duffel bag, it's going to be kind of noisy if you just hear it rubbing against yourself if, especially if you're wearing windbreaker material so here's what it looks like in proportion to my body at least i'm a pretty thick boy so it's actually not that small of a bag it's a good medium sized bag so i've said this multiple times a good medium daily use bag so after holding it for a bit durability wise that'll be for a later video if this can't handle the wear and tear of daily use but if nothing happens to it at least for the next few months and y'all don't see an update video that means it's holding up pretty nicely but overall i really like this duffel bag the color is nice it's not too out there design wise and the size is perfect for what i need it for i really wanted to dislike this collector's box because of how many times it was delayed but i like all of the items inside of it and i actually have a use for each of those included items but is it worth 39.99 i'd say that's an okay price but i think a better price point would be somewhere between 29 99 and 34.99 i bought this because i love ellie despite what people have been debating about whether or not this game had some sort of political agenda i missed out on getting the last of us part one merchandise all those years ago so i'm just making up for lost time i'll drop a link down below for those who are interested in seeing it other than that thank you so much for checking out this video if you enjoyed this one please feel free to check out these others they may interest you in some way if you really enjoyed hanging out with me today please consider subscribing to be the first to know when i upload something new i hope you all have a great rest of your day i'll see you all soon Bye.